Oh, yeah. I got to do my yoga poses before we start today. Just tell me when the camera's on so I know, like, to be professional. It's on. Oh, what's that? In my ear? We are live! Welcome to Reward the Fan. I'm your host, Jeremy Hassel, and this is the best live trivia game show in the world, and we're here in the palm of your hand, or on your tablet. And if this is your first time playing, I'll get into the rules in a little bit. But first, I want to tell you tonight's trivia theme. <clears throat> now, this is a story all about how our TF got flip turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, so allow me to stop, because the theme of the game is music. Hip hop. Yeah, come on. Come on, there's no one in the room but one producer. Thank you, thank you. Fresh Prince aside, no, worry about further. Isn't that the best theme song for a sitcom ever? Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Is there better? Oh, well, there's no place like home. There's a heart. There's. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys. Listen, Fresh Prince aside, we've got ten hip hop theme questions coming at you tonight. So let me get into the rules. I'm gonna ask you. About 10 questions, and for each question you get correct, you will earn five cents and reward dollars. And if you get a question wrong, I'm gonna knock you out. Mama said, Knock you out. At Jeremy Unisker Hassel, tell me if you know the rapper who sang that song. Let's see how good you are, kids. But you can use an extra life to snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Woo, we're getting rhymes in here. You get those by referring your friends. And you can use them to return once per game. And if you manage to answer all 10 hip-hop questions correctly, the champ is here! The champ is here! Now listen, you'll be splitting our reward dollar prize with your fellow winners. All about sharing here, rewarding all the fans. Ho, ho, ho! And tonight, that prize is 200 and 50 reward dollars. But wait, 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 that's not all. But, but, but wait, it gets better. Everyone who gets all 10 questions correct will be automatically entered to win a pair of concert tickets for free. Boom, pow, look at us now. We just love giving things away here at Reward the Fan. We, give away a, we gave away a ton last night. Did you guys check out the Super Fan game? It was nuts. We gave out 10 free tickets just because. And hundreds of dollars in gift cards. We're just giving things away. How about someone gives me a raise? Just saying. I want, hey, if they're giving stuff away, I want tickets too. And of course, free tickets for a year. And guess who won free tickets for a year just from playing on our app? C-Bowles 3. Or is it C-B-O-L-E-S 3? Or is it C-B-O-L-E-S 3? I don't know. I'm getting enunciation right. But if you want details about when our next super fan game is going to be or when any games are going to be, and if you want hints, all you have to do is follow us on social media. Guess what, everyone? It's one word, at RewardTheFan on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. And if you love this game or if you just love free stuff, throw us a follow. And, of course, feel free to follow the handsome gentleman talking to you right now, at Jeremy underscore Hassel. But not to take the shine away from our winners, big shout-out to you, C-B-O-W-L-E-S-3, on their win last night. And before we get to shouting out some of tonight's players, let me tell you about uh, our next game. It's tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, with the Ali Melendez. She'll be here for sports trivia. You're going to love this. Stadium food edition. Oh, if I'm going to the stadium, you got to get some tater tots. You didn't think I'd say that, did you? But I bet you love tater tots, don't you? Anyway, so look out for the double, the winners, and some more fun stuff. There's always a reason to tune in to RTF, people. But back to tonight. Let me give some quick shout-outs to Jar High, Hallie Mac, or is it Hail Mac? And happy birthday to Jasper's mom, mom of the year. Woo and I see there's over 1,258 of you and more. It's climbing. Woo. And you guys want to get to this game, huh? So why don't we kick this thing off in hip-hop? They can't see my legs, can they? If you could, you see I was doing the... Hey, step. Anyway, we're going to get off here. Here is question number one. What hip-hop duo released the 2003 song, Hey Ya, Outcast, in Splint, Updog? 
Come on, people. You guys got to get this one correct. Hey Ya was one of the biggest songs of the early 2000s and was one of the many hip-hop songs to cross into the mainstream because it went something like, Hey Ya, uh-oh. The case of my legs. Hey, my legs are just like one of these guys. But listen, the duo is made up of Big Boy and Andre 3000. They won six Grammys and counts all their awards. And they're from Stankoni. I'm giving hints like you wouldn't believe. But the answer to this question is... Outcast. Ooh, I see you got this right. Hulk 2003. Urgh. And you two high times. Hey, hey, hey. And Yankees 24. Now listen, the song was part of their double album, Speaker Box, and The Love Below. And which almost had 40 songs combined. What great albums. They changed music with that one. And I see over 1,219 of you guys are just ready to go right into question number two. So let's do it. What does YMCMB stand for? Your monkey can't make bananas. Young money cash money billionaires. Yes, Mr. Cumberbatch, massive bloke. Now, now that last one has made me laugh, so I have to get myself back together. But YMCMB is actually a combination of two record labels, both of which involve Lil Wayne, Wheezy F Baby, was signed to the CM part of the acronym before becoming president of the YM part, but he eventually stepped down to focus on his music. There's been a lot of drama since, but uh, we love you, little Wayne. And the answer to this one is Young Money Cash Money Billionaires. And I see that 1,204 of you, Young Money Cash Money Billionaires, got this one right. And isn't it, is YMCNB really a thing anymore? Thanks to Lil Wayne's feud with Birdman, or are they back together? Or did, I don't know what's going on. Did anyone hear Rick Ross's song about that? Just saying. But I think it's time for us to move on, people, and go to this next question. Time for three. Why wait? And we can do it right now. All right, let's do it now. Who co-created Beats Headphones? Dr. Dre. Drake, Andre 3000. Now, this guy had a long, successful career as a musician. Some people call him the best hip-hop producer of all time. But his name has now become synonymous with Beats Headphones. As a musician, he was part of a group called hmm, NWA, and then later mentored Snoop Dogg and Eminem. This is a lot of hints. And he's a little bit more jacked than me. Just a little. The answer is Dr. Dre. The good doctor put out an iconic album in 1992 with his hit and the album title, The Chronic. And he's become one of the greatest hip-hop producers or just producers in general of all time. And I see you got this right, Steven Ski. And to you, Orchid, I see you. Orchid, I have a feeling you have a rock band on the side. Let us know about that. And you too, Linus C13. But I think it's time for us to go right to question four. Let's keep rolling tonight. You guys are with us. Which rapper's nickname is Misdemeanor? Little Kim, Lupe Fiasco, Missy Elliott. Now we gave this away in our Facebook Live. Hope you guys would have joined us because you know this answer. So make sure before the game to check in with us. And if you're not a big rap fan, that's okay. This one should be kind of easy. Um, you can figure it out. It's from words kind of sounding alike. Misdemeanor. I can give that hint, right? All right. And the answer is Missy Elliott. Let me work it. Did you see her in the VMAs? Yo, her songs work it. And she brought out the little girl who's now still working it. You think you can dance like that? Talking to you at home. Could you guys work it? Oh, I can work it. Wick it, wick it, do, 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 wick it, wick it. Gotcha. It's hip hop. We gotta have some fun. Listen. Now, Missy's known for a lot of things. Produced songs for Sierra and so many other people. But I see that 977 of you misdemeanors got this one right, and I'm proud of you guys. Like you, Zoo Boy, and you, Vaughn C93, and Comeback K Kid. What's the K there for? But anyway, let's go on to question number five. I feel like saying Mumbo number five. So the name Paul Revere, Betsy Ross. So did you think we'd be asking about the Revolutionary War during a hip hop trivia? What? You did? Well, you probably thought we'd ask about Hamilton, but back in the 80s, that song. Your answer here is Paul Revere. One if by land, two if by sea. And 873 of you are coming with me into a... Uh, it's reward box time. Let's give it to them, people. Yes, to you, Jay Mackey, and you, Twidget. I'm proud of you guys for getting that last question right, but we're going to a reward box now. So everyone who got the question correct, you're all now automatically entered to win our question five reward box prize, which is two lives. Oh, that's a good gift. 
just like Uncle Luke, you could be a member of the Two Live crew. See that? See that? Got it? Anyway, listen. All right, it looks like the winner's slowing down. It's coming, and the winner is... Millie 011. What's up? Or is it Mill YY 011? I give it two ways to see how it goes. I don't know how to say your name, but congrats to you. You just won two free lives. That's awesome. And guess what? We're halfway through now, so let's get back into the game. Here's question six. Which hip hop collective had a Hulu series premiere last week? Odd Future, Brockhampton, Wu Tang Clan. Now, we gave this away in our Facebook Live, so if you were there, you should know the answer. But listen. Big hip-hop groups aren't quite as in style now as they used to be, but Wu-Tang were one of the first to do it, and they inspired Tyler, the creator, and Odd Future about 10 years ago. Now Brock Hampton is doing it, so they actually started on an internet forum. Believe that? But listen, your answer here is the OG, the original. Clan in the front, let your feet stomp. Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang is the answer. Wu, Wu. What's your favorite Wu-Tang song? Mm, I'd say the mystery of chef's boxing. Ooh, I said it, I said it. Just like, ooh, Walnuts 86, you got it right. Joey, Joey 1933, I knew you'd get this one, huh? Now listen, you can use an extra life to hop right back in the game if you didn't, everyone. But I see 810 of you are diversifying your answers. So, question seven rules everything around you. So let's do it. Here's question seven. Which rapper signed Rihanna to her first record contract? Eminem, Jay-Z, Dr. Dre. Rihanna has become an international megastar in her own right. Rihanna, but before she was where she is now, Rihanna, I make it roll. Rihanna sent a demo tape to the CEO and president of Def Jam Records in 2005. This rapper was the guy, and <clears throat> Rihanna auditioned for him in his office. And she's being compared to Beyonce a lot. Woo! So your answer here is, give it hints, it's Jay Z. Oh. The Rock is in the building. Does Hope still do this? I am cool, by the way. Does he still do this? There's no one around. Listen, The Rock is definitely in the building. Jay-Z isn't the billionaire just because of his music. He has an eye for talent, clearly. And so do you guys, like Steve-O85 and Bell4877 and Garrett Irish. Oh, my gosh. And S.P. Harrington this is great. You guys are getting this all right. Listen, you rude boys and rude girls, come with me to question eight. That was my Rihanna impression. Was that all right? Anyway, here's question eight. I didn't sound like her. All right. Which member of the ASAP mob was born first? ASAP Rocky, ASAP Ferg, they're twins. Now, these are two of the most noteworthy members of the ASAP mob, which is a hip hop collective, a lot like Wu Tang and Odd Future and Brock Hampton. But Rocky, he blew up first, and Ferg came in second, had some hits, and they were both born in the same month. But your answer here is the one, the only, ASAP Rocky. Now, Rocky was born on October 3rd, 1988, and Ferg was born on October 20th in that same year. Oh, and I see 421 of you are one step closer to winning some reward pesos. Get it? Rocky pesos? Listen, if you're not a purse wearer, maybe you could put it in your satchel. But here's question number nine. Who released the 2019 song, Suge? Was it The Baby, Little Baby, NBA Young Boy? We want to test all your hip-hop knowledge tonight, so how about something from the very, very new school? The song is named after Suge Knight, who is not new school, but if you've heard it, it sounds a lot different than hip-hop songs of the past. These are real rappers, but your answer here is... The Baby. I just like saying it. I'll say it again. The Baby. The song has a lot of free associating and really gets stuck in your head, and the beat makes you want to go... Just saying. But I see 280 of you smell the cologne that's coming out of here. And I think you might smell that it's time for the final round. Oh, shout out to the golf guy for getting that right last round. And shout out to all you guys for hanging out with us and staying this long and making it to the final question of tonight. This is serious. I am proud of you. And this next question is a doozy, so listen close and good luck. Here is question 10. Let's make history. Where was Slick Rick born? Los Angeles, New York, London. This is the complete opposite of the last question in terms of timeliness. The baby just put out his first album this year, and Slick Rick 
hasn't put out an album in over 20 years. Slick Rick the Ruler, a.k.a. MC Ricky D, baby, was born once upon a time not long ago and known as one of the best storytellers in hip-hop. So your answer here is London. Good on you, mate. Was that London or more Australian? I try. I try. Listen, everything about him is unique from his eye patch to his accent, his storytelling. He's just pretty unique. And you're pretty unique if you got this right. Like... M. Fessler got this right, Liz Five got it right, Carly G, and Nelly F, and Margo Cabot. Margo, congratulations. Listen, you guys, the 204 of you winners, are going to spit super hot fire all over the track during this game. And as a result, you're going to be splitting a more dollar prize. I'm telling you, you're racking up some more dollars, you're going to be balling out, going crazy, just closing your eyes and making it rain with the more dollars. Like you, Rit86, and G-Man1206. What's the G stand for, huh? And MWills15, I think I've seen you in before. And G, G, G Dentistry. Not one, but three Gs. I'm with you. And 68 Cougar. Arr, and Carly G. And Hez1000. Hez, do you eat Pez? Just ask him. Big Nate? 63. It's a good number. And DJ Nikki 7 All right, listen. This has been a great show, but there's one last thing to do. We're going to run that ticket. Lotto! Oh, woo! So your names are going to be flying past me right now, and pretty soon one lucky name is going to be chosen at random to be our lucky winner. If that name that I read just happens to be yours, oh, heavens have mercy. That means you're going to win two free tickets. Woo, it's getting hot in here. Woo, it's getting hot in here. Two free tickets. Listen. And thanks to the good folks here at Ward the Fan, you'll be prompted with a list of events to choose from, but just make sure you choose within 24 hours so you don't lose it, okay? And I see it slowing down, and I'm about to see the winner, and the name is, for two tickets, Meme My 15. Meme My 15. Hello. When I hear Meme Ma, I think of saying Remy Ma, it's kind of hip-hop, but Meme Ma 15, congratulations to you. You just won two free tickets for playing Award the Fan. If you want another shot, everyone, at winning Award the Fan, you know what you got to do? Come on right back now and out of here. That means come back tomorrow for Stadium Food Trivia with Allie at 8 p.m. Listen, I've had a blast. I'm your host, Jeremy Hassel. Make sure you follow us on social media at Award the Fan, one word, and definitely... Follow me at Jeremy underscore Hassel on social media. It's a party. Now, until next time, just remember, we here will always be your biggest fan. I'm going to send you a digital hug and schedule it with my new, I just updated my Gmail, and it can let me send things later, so I'll send it to you later. Listen, keep it positive. Have a great life. Oh, and have a good night. Oh, you're coming with me? Then you're paying for the pizza.